<laughs> what's up everybody i am jaspreet singh and welcome to the minority mindset wait what's that is that what i think it is is it bitcoin after the 2018 bitcoin crash no one really talked about Bitcoin or cryptocurrency until now. It started when Facebook announced that they are going to create their own cryptocurrency called Libra. And then, of all people, the Federal Reserve Bank got involved with cryptocurrency. So today, I want to talk about what's going on with cryptocurrency between Bitcoin, Libra, and everything in between. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to the Minority Mindset YouTube channel. That way you don't miss our new videos every week. Let's start with Libra. Mark Zuckerberg can pretty much monitor everything you do on the internet right now with Facebook. And now, he wants to take it one step further by monitoring the way you spend your money with their cryptocurrency, Libra. And Libra might be the reason why cryptocurrency is finally used by the masses. Facebook essentially wants Libra to be the next PayPal by making it easier for you to spend money or send money. So if you want to buy something or if you want to send money to your friends overseas, now with Libra, the goal is you don't have to worry about exchange rates and you don't have to worry about high fees and you don't have to worry about waiting 7 or 10 days to access your money or currency. It's a very similar goal to other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, except companies never really got behind Bitcoin. Well, Facebook can solve that problem because Facebook is a big company and Facebook has the power to get other big companies behind their cryptocurrency too. But there is one big difference between Libra and other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Libra is not decentralized. It's actually the exact opposite. Here's what that means. So cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin were meant to be decentralized, which essentially means that Bitcoin was supposed to be managed and controlled by the users of Bitcoin. That means regular people like you. Libra, on the other hand, will not be controlled by its users. It will be controlled by big corporations like Facebook, Visa, MasterCard, and Uber. And if you want to be one of the big companies that controls Libra, well, all you have to do is pay $10 million to Facebook's Libra Association. I wonder if Facebook is offering Libra loans. The big concern here is, do you trust Facebook to control your money? Or should I say, your Libra? Well, Facebook's already watching everything I do. Might as well give them my wallet too. It's really interesting because if you want to use Libra when it launches in 2020, you'll probably have to download either Facebook or the Messenger app or WhatsApp or the Libra app. That means Facebook will be watching you from all angles. I'm watching you. And that's really interesting for investors and companies because this could change the game for advertising again. Now, before we flip the coin and talk about Bitcoin, you see what I did there? I wanna hear your thoughts on Libra. Is it good? Is it bad? Why or why not? Let me know in the comments below. And to spice things up a little bit, I am going to give the most interesting commenter this Minority Mindset t-shirt for free. I'll even pay to ship it out to you. So pause this video and let me know your thoughts on Libra and you might even win a t-shirt. All right, now let's talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin just came back to life and shot up in price way above $12,000 a coin for the first time since 2017. So what caused Bitcoin's price to spike? Well, two things, Libra and the Federal Reserve Bank. In 2017, banks hated crypto, Corporations hated crypto, and most regular people were pretty skeptical of this whole cryptocurrency thing. And then after the Bitcoin crash, most people thought cryptocurrency was dead. That was until Facebook announced Libra. Facebook just legitimized cryptocurrency because Facebook is one of the largest corporations in the world, and now they are stating that they are getting behind crypto. Then, right after Facebook announced Libra, the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell and the Bank of England Governor Mark Carney came out and said that central banks around the world should look at Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies with an open mind. What? Compare that to how banks felt about cryptocurrency in 2017. Yeah. And if that wasn't enough, Stephen Moore, who was a candidate for the Federal Reserve Board, started receiving a lot of negative press about his past. So he backed down from the Fed position and then he announced to the world that he was going to help start a central crypto bank for decentralized cryptocurrencies. If you're confused, you're not the only one. Whether the central crypto bank takes off or not is a different story. 
but this created a whole new wave of press for cryptocurrency which got a lot of people excited which then resulted in the price of bitcoin skyrocketing and if you're wondering wait how can i buy bitcoin well you have to use a cryptocurrency exchange and make sure you do your due diligence because there's a lot of fake or not so good exchanges out there i recommend using our affiliate partner coinbase because they're easy to use they've been around a long time and they are giving Minority Mindset fans $10 worth of Bitcoin for free when you buy $100 worth of Bitcoin. So if you want to learn more and see how you can get this $10 worth of Bitcoin, I will link the link in the description below. Minority Mindset is an affiliate partner with Coinbase. So if you invest with them, we will get compensated, but there's no additional cost for you. So if you want to learn more, the link is in the description below. The thing you have to understand about cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin is that it's not a for-profit company. I mean, they don't have revenues or profits. It's a currency. It's something you're supposed to use to buy other things with. But Bitcoin has not caught on as a currency. So people are buying Bitcoin not to use, but as a way to hopefully make money. Because of the uncertainty around cryptocurrency, Bitcoin is very volatile. So it can shoot up to $20,000 a coin very quickly. And it can come crashing down just as fast. Right now, at the time of me recording this video, Bitcoin believers are hoping that Bitcoin will shoot up because... Facebook is making cryptocurrency popular with Libra releasing in 2020 and there's a change in tone around cryptocurrencies with the Fed and corporations. The whole idea being if more people accept cryptocurrency, more people will be willing to get behind it, which will bring more demand and buyers of Bitcoin, which will make the price go up. Is it guaranteed? No, it is very volatile and very speculative. I mean, you've seen what happened before. So whatever you do, just remember, smart investors invest on financials and bad investors invest on emotion. And if you do want to learn more about how Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general works, I'll link a video for you to watch in the description below as well. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and share it with one friend so we can help spread the word. Don't miss the new videos on entrepreneurship, business, and money every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell below. That way you actually find out when our new videos are released. And as always, keep hustling.